This time on Woody's garage. Why don't we go apple picking or something instead of getting all greasy? Okay, back at looking at the RUP. I ordered these chain adjusters from like China. And I knew they were going to be small. But I didn't know if they would work. I have a half inch axle. So I drilled them out. Do I got enough meat left to actually uh, make them work? I mean, it doesn't... Once you make the adjustment, the bolt and the axle hold everything down. But it's just vulnerable. I mean, the main reason is because... I hate these... Uh, oh, I took them off. I hate the adjusters that are on the wheels. Those round things, they seem to keep slipping and throwing the wheel uh, into a uh, non-aligned state. So the chain would bind up. So I'm going to try putting these on and see what happens. Maybe they'll work, maybe they won't. Or maybe I'll make a pair, you know. I mean, I got my welder. It's just a washer and, uh, you know, a threaded rod or a bolt. And this is nothing but bent metal in a hole. But, you know, these were wicked cheap, so I decided to give these a try. So I stuck it just on the one side for now. Because I have to uh, pull the axle out and everything to get the one on the other side. But, uh, yeah, you're not going to get a uh, crap load of adjustment there. But you wouldn't buy the, uh, the circle things either. I mean, it'll work. This is all loose and sloppy. You know, you could crimp those in to be tighter. But, you know, I think it'll um, adjust the wheel so much more evenly than those uh, round jobs did. Yeah, I think they'll do their job. Will they hold up? Oh, that I don't know. You know, get them even. The chain is um, maybe a little too tight right there, but uh, just get them even on each side. It's visual. Uh, looking down the chain. I'm probably sick of looking at this view. I am too. Uh, doesn't look quite straight. Looks like the left side's pulled in too far. But uh, we'll get that fixed up and uh, I think this is good to go. I was thinking the second set for the uh, Romanova, but there's no way the Romanova has a, a what is it, 5 eighths axle? A 3 quarter axle? I think. I can't remember, but I'll never be able to drill those out to that. A little kind of humid out here today. It's about 65 degrees. And we're steaming up. Hang on. Okay, we're working on the errands today. And not much to see here. I'm just taking off the uh, bottom skid plate here. You can see how warped that is. I decided uh, if I'm going to paint in here, I might as well try to do it right. Pull that out, scrape off the rust give it that coat of black. Maybe we'll unsteam by the time I power back up. Yeah, we're fighting with one more. Surprised they didn't all snap, but they didn't. You can see this is kind of warped and rusted, and there's another plate underneath it, which I did not even know about. So we're still fighting with this guy over here. He just spins. And he's rough to get out. We'll, we're going to get it out. It's just fighting. Well, we got it off. I had to go at it. Uh, it starts out, you think it's going to be like a five minute job, you know, your pants get all friggin' dirty like you weren't expecting. And <laughs> and I, I got out the uh, cutting wheel and I went to cut it off from the bottom underneath here and I snapped a cutting wheel. I got a little piece in the face, but it didn't really hurt. Won't hurt my looks any. Um, so we got it out regardless. So it's funny, this one looks more like you know a real blade, and this is the way it was like here. And neither of them look like they slide either. So I'm gonna have to look into this a little bit. Get one new nut and bolt. But in the meantime, it'll make it a lot easier to clean this up. You know, I couldn't consciously just leave that on there and blot paint on it. Yes, I could have, but I didn't. 
Uh, it's starting to get dark a little bit, might not look good on camera, but uh, we got all the loose stuff out of there. Scraped down pretty good. Um, there are places like the gearbox, I'm not going to paint, it can stay, you know, greasy, I don't really care. Just spray all uh, paint over it. I'm going to take some degreaser now and just hit it and then wash it out with a hose. And it's going to rain tomorrow, so I'll probably let it sit for a day or so before it gets painted. But, uh, this is degreaser stuff. snowing already um, yeah we'll let it do its job for a couple of minutes and I'm just gonna hit it with a hose and then we'll uh, let it sit for a couple of days okay we brushed on the first coat man that took forever so many edges there's gaps I also bought three cans of uh, black spray paint to go over this get the voids that should help though for sure still haven't done anything with the scraper blades we'll clean those up though figure out how they go back on this side was to the left yeah we touched up some spots with the spray paint so that you couldn't reach or whatever it didn't come cover very well um, let's take a look at the, uh, the scraper blade that goes along the bottom here's the first piece look at how bad that is I just hit it with some black brush on really quick and hit it with the spray paint later on. Now look, round holes. What I didn't notice, and I did not paint. Don't need to paint it because it's still pretty orange. Because the other scraper blade actually does have the square holes. So someone swapped out the uh, the bolts and the locking nuts somewhere along the way. And what I'm wondering is. Is this two scraper blades? They use the old one, or is it really a two-part system? This is the one that looks like it should kind of do the work, don't you think? Like this would be the bottom side, like that. And the uh, carriage bolts are coming through here. I have to look at the parts. Um, diagram, see if I can figure it out. I got this Craftsman mower. I actually bought this thing new many years ago. And it's worked great. I usually use it to just get the leaves and stuff like that because it's not self propelled, but it's not starting right now. And last year, I remember I didn't have spark. I bought a new uh, coil for it, and uh, the next time I tried the mower, it ran fine. So I didn't put in the new coil, but let's see if we got spark now. The problem with these when you want to check the spark is like the pull starts way the hell down there. I just stuck a piece of wood in the line here. Give that a yoink and no, no spark. So let's put on the new coil. Or actually try another spark plug first. Okay, second plug also has no spark, so let's put in the new coil. It's the time of year when these guys are every place. Not a lot of color to the foliage is here. You know, everything's just kind of the same brown, orange, dull. Okay, one screw in this, the other screw's long gone, who knows where. And we gotta take off the dipstick holder uh, and four bolts. Three bolts pull the whole gas tank off. And uh, years ago this gas tank started leaking 
I had to marry a gas tank from another machine onto this by wiring it together because for some reason this ring wasn't the same. Can't really remember what I did, but it works fine. Anyway, that just moves out of the way. So we'll take that off. Then we can take this off. There we are, and there is our coil. And let's see if the new one looks like the old one. Well, no, it doesn't. The lead comes off the other side. That might not be a problem. The uh, screw spacing might be different, though. I don't know. Let's try it. He's a quarter inch. I'll get the little tiny ratchet and sockets. For the air gap, I always just use like a business card or something. A little ground on the back. Okay. This has got to poke through. on. Uh, of course it isn't going to fit. It'll be. i have to grind that down I guess. But let's see if the bolts line up. No, they don't. Oh, son of a bitch. Now if I remember right, a uh, quick test for a coil is to put it on continuity, your voltmeter. go from the cap to the base. As you can see, this one's kind of intermittent, which is pretty much what I'm getting for a spark. The new one Steady, even to the ground, which I think is weird. Okay, we're gonna put the old one back in, except that we don't have the ground wire hitched up. Because I'm wondering if the ground wire is in fact grounding out. Since this seems to test okay. <laughs> funny, I have a big batch of old coils. I kind of went through them and I, seemed, I think they all tested bad. Maybe I tossed them all out. But I can't find them, so I don't know. <coughs> okay, got the business card in there. Crank it out. Should be a good air gap. Here's a plug. I guess we'll just button it up. I tried it again with the uh, ground attached on this spark. So we'll see if we can get the right coil for it someday. Okay, next machine up is this uh, grass one I got recently that had the bad wheel. Remember, I got the new wheel for it. You saw one of my old videos. So I was using this one to get some leaves and, uh, you know, using it and all of a sudden the, the wheel popped off <laughs> so something else is wrong with this so we're gonna look into it I kind of you know I got it back on but it looks like the uh, the gear 
that runs the wheel is actually pretty badly worn too from the gravel that was in there. So I'm hoping I can fix it. I have to buy a part for this one too. So there's the gear. You know, it's kind of worn off on the sides there. Here's what it's done already to the new wheel. Damn. There's the old wheel. Pulled it out of the trash just to compare to see if the wheels were actually different. They look pretty much the same. I'm going to pop this gear off if I can. I got another gear, I know from an old machine I kept, but it doesn't look like that. So, and look at what the one looks like on the other side, too. That's what the gear looks like on the other side. And here's our mangled job. Now, now you can't just flip it around. It's kind of inside of the shadow. That thing really looks wanked. And it wasn't working right either. I mean, after the wheel fell off, I put it back on. And yeah, sometimes it would work. And other times this wheel wouldn't spin. So, this gear, it's gone still. Like I said, I got another one, but it doesn't look like this. I can see if I can find it. Yeah, well. I went through the junk and this is the one I had nope I'm gonna cut it same sprocket size though it's a wheel well but those teeth definitely stick out further God, I gotta buy something. Damn it. I've been trying to get that little gear out there forever. Look at all the wheel pullers. I cannot, everything just skids off of it. Just not coming off. And that backing plate, of course, is plastic. I've already melted it with a torch. <laughs> Ever feel like you're wasting your life? Yeah, we finally got it. I left the, uh, wheel puller on there while I was eating lunch hoping that like yeah it would pop off while I was eating lunch no but I, I put it on there and then I jammed two screwdrivers behind it and it moved a little bit and then it moved a little more and finally it's off so I just want to make sure that this is like the one I'm ordering and uh, it's like five dollars and eight cents or something shipped so we'll order that up and this one well it should be good to go Another thing is I can use it as a push mower to get the leaves now too. I don't have to worry about chewing that wheel up. Uh, what's wrong with him? 